And welcome back, survivors, to another uh, episode in the continuing adventures of Commander Tom camping in real life. And I thought I would start today by showing you around what I'm calling home for the next week. This is what I affectionately like to call the Stammock. It is a unique self-designed uh, shelter that basically is two A-frames with two ridge poles connected to a tree, allowing myself and Lieutenant Lex to be able to sleep comfortably. And he's sitting in a pair of our tripod chairs. The design was made from a friend of mine, Andy Clint, full credit to him, but it is simply four poles lashed together with fabric that allows you to have a lightweight yet very comfortable chair while you're out here in the woods. Moving along then, you will see the classic, hmm, basically wall tent with canopy where several of our members are crafting away and then you'll see a basic table and we have in the middle of our community area where we have essentially leather craft and amateur humor hour going on on to the other end of the aisle you will see where our most senior member is camping and also where we have a lot of supplies stepped out it's hard to go camping on these things without supplies Coming up next is a standard wall tent that we affectionately will call the scariest room in the shelter because that is the boys' bunk. That is where boys go to disappear and they come out when they're being fed. It's kind of the opposite of, you know, the zoo. Ah! One's coming now! <laughs> then we uh, have a traditional baker's tent where uh, Commander uh, Tom is going to be sleeping in. That worked quite well for one person. Coming around, we have another state's territory coming up next with that. That young man is going to talk about trade negotiations. I'm not kidding, as trade is a very common pastime here at camps. You cannot have a rendezvous without a teepee in it. That is Running Water's teepee, and it sleeps quite comfortably, as is another teepee and trade blanket. You'll see also there we have a smaller, I would call it one person, one pole tent, although if you use a couple of poles on the outside, you don't have to have a singular pole in there. But that is the essential accommodations I am going to be living in for the next week. I find it comfortable, I find it relaxing, I find it resetting. If you like this kind of stuff, feel free to uh, like and subscribe. I will try to keep the material coming. I'm Commander Tom, I'll see you next time.